services.msc. So what exactly is services.msc? Well, the answer is tricky. But in short, it is a safe way of disabling or enabling different programs that are running invisibly in the background of Windows. Sounds scary, doesn't it? Well, just know that there are dozens or more programs running in the background of Windows whenever you turn it on or use it. Most of them are running different functions of Windows to help do certain things like check for updates, manage data flow, syncing with the network, and turning on DirectX, and many, many, many others. Now, some people don't want all these programs running in the background automatically, and they'll want to free up a little more resources for the computer to use. But honestly, with today's computers, there's more than enough processor power and RAM capacity to leave everything on. Now, to customize services, most are familiar with msconfig. To get here again, just type in msconfig into the run bar, click on the services tab to start making changes to your computer services. Looking at everything here is pretty uninformative and also very confusing, especially since it doesn't tell me what anything here does and only comes with a enable all, disable all, and the law check boxes. The bad thing here is this will make even an important service stop working if you're not careful. This is where services.msc is much easier to use. To get here, simply type services.msc into the run bar and press enter. Now this window will appear. Now there's still a lot of information on the screen, but at least there's a very useful description box that will help you identify different services and what they actually do. Another neat thing is you can start, restart, or stop a particular service if you're trying to troubleshoot something. Now one thing that is missing from services.msc is it does not list the manufacturer name of a service. So if I'm hunting a particular service down from a program I've installed like Norton from Symantec, I'll use msconfig to help me find it. You can do this by reopening msconfig and click on the services tab. Click on hide all Microsoft services button. Then click on the manufacturers tab on the top to sort it. Once you have found what you're looking for, you can use that service name in msconfig to help match the one that is listed in services.msc since it is alphabetically sorted for you there. Now, even if you use services.msc to make modification to your services, exercise great caution still and make working backups of your computer. There are a lot of problem, problems that can occur on your computer if you turn off the wrong service. Again, if you're not sure, just leave it alone. There are a lot of great websites that list safe and critical services on your computer, so I would recommend for you to look at those first before altering any Microsoft-based service. Alright, thank you for watching.